Hey guys, what's up and welcome to the camera review for the Yumi DG Z2. I'm currently filming with the Yumi DG Z2 and let's get started. So the Yumi DG Z2 here takes very good photos. It's not all sunshine and rainbows. I will touch on the bad parts later, but let's start with the good parts first. This phone takes some very good pictures and good lighting conditions. Take a look at this landscape shot I took in front of my lawn. Um, you get some very nice color saturation in the sky, nice blues, you get some very nice greens on the grass, and the detail is actually not that bad, which is actually quite surprising, um, because, uh, considering it's a 16 megapixel camera, so it's not super high megapixel count, it's respectable, but it's not super good, so that's actually fairly, fairly, um, fairly good. Um, going on to the next picture here, you can see that this is my dog taking a leak. And again, details pretty good. You can see that there is very, very slight motion blur on my dog's face, but that's um, not very noticeable. And again, very good color saturation and some decent dynamic range also in this photo. And moving on, we can see here that this is a picture of, well, of berries, which you should not eat because they're poisonous, I'm fairly sure. Um, Again, you get some very nice color saturation. Uh, you get some nice greens and you get some nice reds, which is very, very nice. And the bokeh effect here is actually not that bad, which, which is actually decent. So um, you can see that, that the background around the uh, in-focus leaves are not bad and they're actually fairly focused also. So good detail, good color saturation, not that bad. So fairly um, impressed with the camera here. And again, take a look at this photo. It's some pretty decent color saturation and some very good detail. So, when you're taking photos in ideal conditions, this camera can keep up with the best. Absolutely no problem at all. And if we keep on going um, to some of these other photos, um, these are macro shots and the macro shots here are absolutely insane. Just, just look at the picture of this flower, the amount of detail in this and the color saturation and the flowers and the greens and everything like that. It just comes out so well and brings out such it just makes the photo look so good and so deep and rich. Again, I've been fawning over the camera for quite a long time, but I will move on to the worst parts. Do not worry. Um, and this last photo here of these, you know, green little fern things, um, they also look very good. Some nice deep saturation, some a lot of detail, nice bokeh in the background, a perfect shot. And if we move on to some of the not so good parts of this um, um, phone, Okay, so first we'll start with the HDR. HDR here is actually not that bad. There are some situations where HDR actually does a pretty good job. You know, it really um, brightens the dark areas and um, tones down to bright areas correct, but there are also some times where it doesn't actually do that great of a job. You know, if you're taking a uh, picture with not that great um, dynamic range, it's actually, sometimes it'll wash the picture out, which is fairly typical for Chinese phones, um, but that does happen and you cannot not expect it in a phone that's not like $800. So. You know, that's something to be aware of. And the biggest problem I see with this camera is if you're trying to take photos of fast moving objects, you know, it doesn't even have to move that fast. Like it, it can be your dog just walking and the pictures will come out not super blurry, but just blurry enough that you'll notice and it won't be an amazing picture. Um, just take a look at a couple of these photos of my dog. He's walking, he's not walking that fast, but they're actually like, you can see like the background is good. But but the but my dog, he's a little bit blurry. You can see that the fur is not quite as crisp as it should be. And if you're walking even faster, you'll see that the effect gets even worse. So that in my opinion is the worst part of the camera. Because because if you take a photo of something that's not moving, you'll see that the detail is very, very good. And you know, color color saturation is good. Um dynamic range is actually not that bad. So I'm fairly impressed with the camera. Moving on to the low light shots, the low light here is not very good. In fact, I'm surprised that Yumi Digi has not been able to improve their low light capabilities in pretty much any of their recent flagships, which is actually fairly surprising because I would have expect I would have expected Yumi Digi to be able to improve it because they have been able to improve their cameras a lot, which is very, very good, but they have not been able to improve the camera situation in low light. You know, stuff like this, you can see the amount of grain and noise in this is pretty unreal. And I would have, I, I really would have expected better out of Yumi Digi, but you know, we'll have to settle here. The front facing camera is also 16 megapixels with an 8 megapixel camera. And I gotta say that it's good, but it's not amazing. So I was expecting better out of the front facing camera. Don't get me wrong, the pictures out of the front facing camera are actually decent, but they are a lot worse than I would have expected them to be. So that's one thing to be aware of also. So finally, let's, let's talk about the video. The video quality here, um, weird thing is you cannot actually change the settings in the 
in, in the camera app, there is no setting to change the resolution. So you're stuck with whatever it's recording at. And sadly, it's recording at 720p, which is really, really, I think it's a bad decision because recording at 720p, you can't really do anything. Of course, this will be fixed in a software update in the future, I'm certain of it. And, and when it does, we will test it further to make to, to see how good it is. But in the meantime, really not that good. Um, Digi, you really should improve that in the future. So in conclusion, I find that Yumi Digi camera is very good. You can take some insanely good pictures um, in perfect light conditions and as well as um, if your subject is not moving too fast. Again, if your subject starts moving fast, you'll start seeing a little bit of motion blur. And if you're in low light, the quality is not that great either. And of course the video quality, I couldn't really test it that, that well because it's stuck at 720p also. That being said, I'm very impressed with the camera and I look forward to see what the rest of the Yumi Digi Z2 can do. So be sure to stay tuned for my full review and be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell to make sure you're notified of any of the latest videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.